In rare occasions, your printer may be disconnected from your computer. Whether it be through a power surge or a faulty cord, you may need to reestablish connection. In this segment, I'll show you just how to do that. The first thing we have to do is create an IP address for the printer itself. To do that, we'll go into the menu, go down to System Info, and go into that submenu. Go to the Network option, and then IP address. Now we've already has ours created, um, which you probably will too if you've lost connection. So what you need to do is simply write this down. Um, in our case, it's 010-164-112-250. After that, back out and go into where it says Subnet Mask. Click over on that. And you want to make sure that it says 255 three times and then 000. Once you've established that, or even if you need to change the IP address, you can come in here and you can move this up and down and change it to your, to your specific liking. But once you've done that and you change the subnet mask, you just simply hit the menu and now your printer has an IP address. After you've given your printer the IP address, you'll need to create an IP on your computer. The easiest way to do that is to go to your Windows menu here and go to your control panel. From there, you go to your network and internet option. Go to your network and sharing center. And click on change adapter settings. Uh, now I know this is a local area connection, but if for some reason you have a bunch of different connections, you're not sure which one is which, you can simply unplug the ethernet cord and plug it back in and it'll pop up here. So once you find out whatever cord you're using, what the ethernet port is, you'll click on that network. And from there, you'll go to properties. Now, what you want to look for is internet protocol version four or TCP IPv4. After you have that selected, you'll go to the properties of that and sometimes if you're using Wi-Fi, you'll be automatically set to obtain IP address automatically. But what we want to do is we want to use our own IP address. Um, so I've already inputted this in here, but the printer itself was 010-164-112-250. Now I went about 100 off, and, and it's important, you only need to do this on the last three digits. Um, but we don't want those connections being too close. So I've established my IP for the computer. And after you're done with that, you'll click underneath the subnet mask. This will automatically fill to the 255, uh, 255, 255, 000. Uh, that's why we give the printer that, that subnet mask as well. So it's important just to make sure that these last three numbers are a bit off than what you've given the printer. After you've established that, you'll click OK. You can go ahead and close out. And we want to open up VersaWorks. Um, guys, please keep in mind that it's important to direct connect with an Ethernet cord. Uh, we don't recommend going through a hub because we can run into a lot of connection issues if we're, if we're going through different ports. So uh, we just want to go straight port to port um, and establish a good, strong connection. So once I have VersaWorks up, it notices that uh, there's, there's no printer there because we've lost connection, so we have to reestablish. Um, we're not going by a, a USB, we're going by uh, IP. So what we're gonna wanna do here is put in the printer's IP address, and that is 010-164-112-250. Uh, make sure it's the printer's, not the one that you've given the computer. After you're done, you'll just go ahead and hit verify. And you can see it popped up right here. Uh, Versacam VS300i, we're in the menu state. We'll go ahead and click apply. And then we'll click okay. And now as you can see right here, we're in the menu state, we are reconnected. 